I'll be brief. Um, the next trend is our flagship wine. Uh, it's actually called uh, Lady Mayor. It's uh, named after my grandmother. And this is a, a special wine in that it's a selection of our best blocks of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon on the estate, which makes 90% of the blend. The rest is 10% Petit Verdot. Petit Verdot, as you know, is a blending grape from Bordeaux. Uh, you very rarely see it as a single varietal. But it's a grape which we've always loved in my family and always uh, used it in fairly high proportions uh, back at Pichon. And we feel it's a grape which has a, lo a lot of elegance uh, to the wine. So 10% Petit Verdot is quite a lot of Petit Verdot. And uh, again, it just brings the, wines, the wine together. Uh, the great thing about Petit Verdot in South Africa is that it ripens. Uh, in Bordeaux, it's not always the case. Uh, some years, it's a very late ripeness, the last grape you pick. Uh, and in Bordeaux, every second year or third year, Petit Verdot don't ripen, so you don't use them. But um, as I said, we use them in fairly high proportions. We can ripen them in South Africa. Um, this is aged for 24 months in new French oak barrels. Uh, so quite a long uh, élevage, as we say in France. But the quality of the, of the wine can really take this much uh, oak. Uh, so 100% new French oak is quite... Uh, something, 24 months is quite something, but as I said, it's, I think the yolk is very well integrated. When you smell the wine, it doesn't jump out uh, on the glass, which is, uh, which is important. Like you. <laughs> the, uh, the block on which the, the Lady May block is planted is, in, is on an east-facing slope, uh, and this is important in South Africa. East-facing means we only get the morning sun. Uh, morning sun is a much softer uh, sun, which allows for a longer ripening um, season. Uh, and what we do, we open up the vines on the east side, which means we, we remove the leaves uh, very early on in the season, try and get the sun in as early as possible. And long ripening season and wines which retain the acidity. Uh, acidity is not a square word in, in wine. Uh, wine without acidity is very flat and will not age. If you can retain as much natural acidity as you can in the, in the grape, uh, in turn in the wine, it will make the wine age uh, graciously. So this is 2010. Uh, it's just starting to drink nicely. Uh, if some of you have cellars, this is definitely a wine to put away in the cellar for another five, <laughs> ten years, no problem. And, and this wine uh, was in a, a lineup of blind, uh, in the blind tasting uh, for the Institute of Masters of Wine exam in London, which is a pretty major exam if you know, it's wine. Uh, there's 300 masters of wine, I think, in the world. Uh, Can I just year. say that I'm on the course at the moment? Okay, so taste yeah. this one because it might come up again. Oh, well, uh, that horrifies me because I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't exactly. get the, the PV in there at all. Well, and also probably the provenance because at the uh, at the exam, a lot of the students actually thought that it was coming from Bordeaux, uh, and some of them said it was Pouillac, which is where we're from. So it's quite interesting. Uh, that uh, the style of the wines we've been making in Bordeaux comes through in the style of the wines we make in South Africa. Um, so it's a small production. We only produce between 1,000 and 1,500 cases, uh, of which probably 200, two or 300 cases make it to the UK, so it's fairly small. Uh, but this is a wine which consistently has been rated as one of the top cabs in South Africa already, and this is only our third vintage. Uh, so as our vines get older, it will get better and better. So I always tell the people, you know, to watch, watch our wines and follow our wines, especially the Lady May, uh, and especially if you have sellers. You know, it's a, it's a wine which will age uh, just like a good border. And, and people don't uh, age this, the New World wines, and especially, especially South African wines, enough. And I think the, it's a shame because these wines age really well. So I hope you'll enjoy this wine and you'll hear me one more time when I speak about the last one. So thank you. Very good.